What's up, Infected, and welcome to the quarantine. I'm speaking with Brad, the president of Level 99 Games. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Well, Gen Con 50, historic event. Um, insane, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's been quite a rush these past few days. I don't think I've ever seen this many people in this hall. I think the last uh, last number I heard was like 168,000 people or something obscene like that. Aye, aye. Uh, first year they've totally sold out of all of the tickets. Uh, you can't come back, come get any apparently. Nah. So if you could describe it in one word, uh, what would that be? Uh, I'd say impressive. Impressive. It's been an impressive show. Oh yeah. Well now, uh, Level 99, uh, a lot of my viewers probably know my favorite company, hands down. Uh, you guys make my favorite game, uh, Battlecon. Um, is there anything uh, new coming down the line? Uh, Level 99 related in general, me personally, Battlecon related, uh, coming down the line, maybe that may not be um, readily readily apparent or uh, publicly known or anything like yeah. that? Yeah, so we um, we are about to release Trials of Indians, which is the newest game in the Battlecon line. I'm a backer. That'll be coming out <laughs> shortly after. Um, and actually, you can pick up, if you're a backer, you can pick up your early copy here. So. Oh, really? I yeah. did not know. So I'll send you away with one after this interview. Sweet. Um, but, uh, I... but yeah, and other than that, we've got more Millennium Blades. So Millennium Blades is a board game about a group of friends that play a collectible card game called yeah. Millennium Blades. You start out on previous night with your starter deck, you uh, battle your way up to the top. We got a brand new promotional pack, and we have our Game of the Millennium Edition, which is an alternate box uh, alternate box cover art oh, for nice. that game. Um, we've got a few new releases, like Seed Season 2 will be coming out pretty soon, yes. and um, a couple small box games. I Can't Even with these monsters, which is a nice uh, party style uh, drafting game. Yeah. And Cell Swords Olympus, which is a tile flipping uh, battle game, kind of in the same vein as the old Triple Triad from Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, no, I, I've actually uh, recently reviewed um, both. Um, just had the name. Cell Swords. Cell Swords. Yes, yeah. I recently reviewed Cell Swords and the Exceed Fighting System. Uh, both phenomenal games. Uh, Exceed, not my cup of tea, but still a phenomenal game. Uh, again, Battlecon is my favorite. So. Um, but yeah, anything uh, else coming down the line? Uh, I, cause I've heard a, a lot about uh, the Olympus expansion. Yeah. That one looks really cool. It's, it's been a lot of fun to make. Uh, and Fabio's done a great job with their artwork with it. My next big project is a Metroidvania board game oh. called Seventh Cross. It's sort of a uh, Bloodborne Dark Souls type of universe. You are you know go through the castle, beat the final bosses, you know collect the artifacts, get out. Um, that sort of thing. It's fully cooperative and has a big campaign setting where you will take a group of hunters through a like long multi-part story over the course of several games. That sounds out, sounds outstanding, and I'm assuming the same uh, level nine in our art uh, yeah. and feel. No, we've got you? a we've got a new artist working on this property, okay. um, but it is the same kind of uh, you know a anime style art yeah. that you you know from us. Um, the artist working with us is called Wicked Alucard. He's done a lot of Helsing uh, art. Um, anyway, a uh, cool artist. And if you check out Exceed Season 2, you can see some of his work. Okay. Because the second season of Exceed will feature these same characters that show up in the adventure game. Awesome. Does it take place in the same universe at all? Yes, yeah. Okay. We created this uh, this original universe and we debuted it in, uh, in Exceed Season 2. And now we're going to give it its own full game come later this year. Awesome. No, you know if you're looking for any reviewers, you know who to hit up, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Was there anything else uh, you wanted to say here? Have uh, you seen about uh, most of the cool stuff that we've got? I'm going to send you home with some stuff, I hope. I appreciate it. I actually own most of the, most of the stuff because, again, big level 99 fanboy. Uh, anyways, thank you very much for having me, and uh, I definitely appreciate your time. Anyways, uh, thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys next time in the quarantine.